In this video, we are going to learn how to create a landscape uh, 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 terrain, and then we're going to paint it, and we are going to sculpt it. So we will do those things. All right, in our last video, we learned how to create a material, and uh, that material, content, Brad Assets, there's my BJS Terrain mat. Um, it's right here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, right now we don't have anything to paint, so let's go ahead and sculpt our terrain. The way we sculpt terrain, as you'll see over here, I have a landscape um, mode. So I'm going to click on landscape. And uh, if I zoom out just a little bit here, I'm uh, right mouse clicking and holding my S key so I can zoom out a little bit. You can see the grids that are being formed here. That's what's going to make up my terrain. And uh, I may use the terms terrain and landscape interchangeably. And this looks like a very large terrain. So let's go ahead and um, make some changes to it. Over here, when we're creating it, we have location, rotation, scale. We also have section size. And uh, over here is what we're going to change this. Um, we're going to change this number of components, right? Instead of eight components, which you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then eight down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make this four each, and that should give us a, a level that will be plenty large for the things we're going to do. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more here. And, uh, and if you find that your zoom is too slow, since we're dealing with a very large area, then we can change our camera speed here. If you just click on that, and I think I'll go over to six. And that will uh, see how that changes the speed of my camera. So that looks good. Now, um, that's all I wanted to do is just change the number of components here to 4 and 4. And then we'll hit Create. Now, you also see the material. Currently, I have none. If we go in, if we select our material and click on this arrow right here, it says Use Selected Asset from the Content Browser. Let's go ahead and do that. So now let's put the material in there. Let's go ahead and create it. There we go. That looks good. It turns black. Now, one other thing that I need to do here is uh, when we go to paint this thing, um, I need to go into paint. And then you'll see that there's my materials right here, the BJS grass, rock, and dirt. And um, right now, if I try to paint this, it says there's this layer has no layer info assigned yet. So let's go ahead and do that. The way we assign layer info is over here, the little plus signs that are right here. If you click on that plus sign, see it says create layer info, click that. And let's, let's do a weight blended layer. And then just say OK. I'm just going to save it in this uh, folder it's going to create there. I'll say OK. Do the same thing for each of the textures you have. So click the plus sign, weight blended, and then OK. And one last one, click weight blended, and then OK. Now if I go ahead, whichever one is selected, you see I can select either one and uh, I can paint on here. So it takes a moment to catch it, but now I can paint. And if I would like to uh, paint a larger area instead of this small brush right here, I do have where I can change the brush size and the brush fall off. So I'm going to enlarge the brush a lot. And you can see, boom, I just uh, painted a whole large area very quickly here. Now the reason it has these lines on it is that's the lighting based on the grids that we built, those, those number of components. I would need to build my lighting and then that would get rid of these lines right there. And uh, well, let's go ahead and do it and we'll just, it's going to take a moment to do it, but we'll do it anyway. So allow access. And I'll uh, close this window. You can see down here it says building lighting. And uh, the lighting's done, building completed, it's compiling my shaders. Let's close that, and sure enough, those lines went away. So we're all set to go here. All right, so now I'd like to do some painting besides just all that grass on there. I'm going to shrink my brush down a little bit again, and probably maybe not so much fall off. You can see as I adjust that, it brings back some of the, um, uh, let's go down this way, that looks good. And so that looks really good. Next thing I'd like to do is I'm going to paint a, a, a border of rock around my entire level. Now all I'm doing is clicking on my mouse and just uh, running down here. And you know what? I kind of like to break it up a little bit so it doesn't look, it's not such a straight line because rock ridges are rarely straight. So it's okay to have, you know, to get them where they're little variation there. 
All right, that looks good. I'm okay with that. And uh, maybe a little bit more rock. Maybe some right over here. And then uh, now some dirt. So I'd like to make some paths around here as well. Paths are usually smaller. So I'm going to crank this down a bit. And uh, maybe there's going to be a path around this mountain right here. So I'm just clicking and dragging. There's a nice path right there. And uh, if I'd like to have more paths around, then I can create paths wherever I go. Let's have a path back here. That way players will come back here. If I create a path there, hopefully they would come back there to look and see what's going on. This is kind of a back door here to this little mountain that's going to be over here. And uh, let's see, let's veer off of there. Let's get players to come back into the corner there. And there we go. And maybe I'll just have a path here. And this will be like a roundabout or a circle. And uh, let's do something so we can cut through here. Now I don't have, uh, I'm just using these three textures. And so uh, if I had a water texture, if I needed to do water, I would just add another water texture in there. And then I could paint water wherever I needed it here. All right, so that's actually painting. Um, the texture and so that looks really good I've painted my uh, my material on there so that was quick and easy since we've done that and that was so easy let's go ahead and start actually sculpting our level now and uh, the next way to do that is since we were painting I'm done painting now I'm gonna go into sculpting so I'll click sculpt and you'll notice that I have these paint brushes here these tools there's my sculpting tool and I have all these other ones we'll get to a couple of these in just a moment and uh, first of all, we're just going to use the sculpt tool. Again, I can change the brush size, the brush fall off, and even my tool strength so that when I click on it, it will uh, it'll raise it up or lower it down. Now, since I've already got this brush size here, I'm actually I'd like to raise up the um, the area here where I'm where I'm uh, going to be working the paths. And uh, let's see, I'm just going to raise my path up here a little bit. So I'm going to trace the path. And notice that it's actually bringing those grids back here. Well, why, while that's annoying, um, it's going to happen because what I'm doing is I'm actually creating new shadows on the surface of my terrain. What it's doing is it's raising up the surface here. And uh, I'm going to raise the surface up there. I'll probably raise the surface up here. And I'll raise the surface up um, over here as well. So let me get this, come over here, and I'm going to raise up the surface, raise it around, around, around. There we go. And I'm going to leave this a little bit lower down here. This will be a low area. So that's sculpting. But if we go take a quick look at it, let's zoom in here. And you'll notice that um, it's kind of rounded. It's not, whoops, it's not very flat, And uh, which sometimes you may want. You may want some rounded areas there, which is fine. But what if I wanted some flat areas? So if I wanted some flat areas, I'm going to choose a different brush. So instead of the Sculpt tool there, let's try this Flatten tool. What the Flatten tool does is whatever height the terrain is at where your cursor is there, it's going as you drag along, it's going to make it all that same uh, height. So I'm going to, and it'll flatten it out. So I'm going to click here, and you can see how it's flattening out all the spaces there. And so I kind of like that. I'm going to keep this same height as I come down here. And I'm going to go over my path. And so that's given me some nice flat terrain there. And then I can do the same thing here. I'll come down here. I'll come down here. And as long as I stay on that path, let's see if I can get out a little bit further here. As long as I'm hovering over that, it will just grab that same terrain height and sculpt it. So let me see as I go through here. I'm just going to do a quick sculpt of my path because it'll make it much smoother for my player to walk on, to run on. And uh, let's see, let's come down here. That looks good. Whoops, <laughs> look what I did. And uh, I want to make this more like this. And I'll grab this. And that actually looks pretty good right there. All right, I'm pretty happy with that uh, so far. And if we go and take a look at it, you can see because it made some kind of uh, made a little bit steeper sides. 
so the player can't get up the side there and uh, they would have to go to like an entry point and uh, I can make entry points on here so let's uh, let's look at making an entry points onto here and I'd really like to do that over here because this is not gonna work right now I need my player let me back over here so you can see it better I need my player to be able to uh, to get down there and get up and have a smooth transition from this higher area to this lower area here fortunately there's a tool for doing that if I click on the flatten tool here and you'll see there's this thing called the ramp tool creates a ramp between two points if I click on that I'll come up here and wherever I click first I'll just click and then down here I'll click again and then over here if I say add ramp it adds a ramp right there so let's go take a look at this so you can see how it looks maybe this way it looks a little better and then uh, let's go back into our another tool like the smooth tool and you can see what that did is it added a nice it kind of blended the terrain right there kind of blended the terrain so it made a nice ramp and I can do that anywhere if I wanted to have a little ramp over here I could do the same thing so I'll go back into ramp and uh, whoops there we go so I'll choose here and then here whoops I, uh, I started clicking moving around so I'll just get out of it and then I'll get back into it and then I'll click up here and then I'll click maybe down here and then say add a ramp and so now I've got this nice uh, once again I've got this nice smooth ramped area here Let's see so you can see it alright that looks really good and uh, let's see what else do I want to do so <clears throat> I'd kinda like to break up my rocky terrain or my uh, grassy flat plane here let's make it a little more bumpy just have some fun with it so let's go back into the sculpt tool I'm gonna increase my brush a little bit and I'm just going to click and drag click and drag click and drag I'm just gonna create some bumps here just trying to get some bumpy terrain and uh, so I'm just clicking and dragging clicking and dragging right there just to kind of get some things going here alright that's some really bumpy terrain right there I mean that's like really bumpy if we come down here and look that's pretty hilly terrain whether you're walking on it or whether you're uh, whoa and I just made some more so whether you're walking on it or driving on it that would be pretty hazardous um, it's okay if you want stuff like that but if you'd like the bumps the variety in the terrain but you'd like to smooth it out a little then over here underneath the sculpt tool again don't use this smooth but let's use underneath the sculpt tool there is a smooth tool right there click that and uh, as you click the smooth tool it kinda softens everything that you did and it kinda blends in the terrain or the vertices that make it up right there and so now it looks pretty good let's go back here and I'll uh... so now I've got that nice look on my terrain kind of blended it in it breaks it up so it's not all flat terrain anymore Ooh, I've got a nice little area right there maybe let's uh, crank down the brush size go back and smooth it just a little bit here yeah smooth it right there so that looks pretty good alright and then notice I kind of blend it a little bit right there and that's fine so I've got some areas that are kind of nice there. All right, what about this area? Let's. Uh, I'd like to make this kind of like a, a little bit more of a mountain right here. So I'm just going to use the. I'm just going to use my sculpt tool here, and uh, let's crank it up a little bit. Let's crank up the tool strength just a little bit as well. Give it some strength. And I'm going to start on the far side. If I start on the close side, it does it. Now I can't see the other side over there. So I'm going to start on the far side and uh, kind of work it up and as you move your mouse you'll see how it creates and gives me these really nice large shapes right here and then sometimes you'll get like stuck where oh no I can't do the middle and so I'll just have to go up top and now I'm really making some really nice areas right here and if they get too big you know what to do we're just gonna grab our smooth tool so that looks really large right there and uh, so let's go ahead and grab our smooth tool again and I'm just gonna apply some smoothing to it and bring it down a little bit that looks good so anyway it's really what you're just gonna play with 
right here. I've got a couple sides where I don't want anybody walking up the sides. And uh, I could add maybe a, um, I could just go around and add, uh, it, it would take a while, but you can make a circular path or a winding path up your mountain right there. But uh, you know what, how about if I make a, um, let's do this, this ought to be fun. So from here, I'd like to make a, a path up and over the mountain and then down again. So we'll go into our uh, ramp tool and I'll just start up here, maybe up top, yeah, a little bit further down. Click and then I'll come down here and uh, you know what, I don't want 2,000. Let's crank that down a bit because that's really large, probably uh, like 1,000. And then we'll uh, click add ramp. Yeah, that turned out actually really good here. And then I'll click down here and add ramp again. All right, so that looks really good. And then let's go back into our smooth tool. And you see where this left kind of like a, a peak here. And if I don't want that peak, you know what? I'm just going to smooth it off a little bit. No, instead of smoothing it, I'm going to flatten it first. So I'll go to my um, flatten tool and get the, um, let's crank this down a bit crank the strength back down and uh, my brush size even smaller. There we go. And so I'm going to grab, so I probably want this height. So I'm going to grab that height and click. And now it's making, it's kind of, oh, I'm smoothing it. I wanted to flatten it. So I'm going to grab here. That looks good. And now I'll go back and smooth it. Nice. Now I've got a nice little drive where the player can drive or walk up here. They can come across the mountain and uh, go down the other side without having to go around it. Now you can go over the mountain. And then if I'd like to take this and uh, sculpt it up just a little bit, I'm going to crank my tool strength down even more. And uh, over here, so if I wanted to get more of a steep side on it, there, I'm making a steeper side that side. Yeah, it's hard to see it from there, but now I've got a nice steep side on it, and um, that looks good. Maybe I need to go back and, and paint that now, since it's a path. So let's do that. So I'll go back into my paint, select my dirt. Oops, there it is, dirt. And I'm just going to paint this now, because that's my new path. Painting my dirt path right there. That looks good. Alright, and so now I've got it. And then I could go back and probably repaint some of that as well. Alright, maybe I want to put a little bit of grass up here. So, um, you know what? I'm going to crank my tool strength down. And uh, I'll just paint, click. I'm just going to drag a little bit of grass on there. Maybe a little bit of grass here up here and so with my strength down look what that does to it it kind of blends it a little bit better so you can whoops too much and if my camera speeds too fast now that I'm close up I can do this and look at it so anyway so now you can see it blends very nicely the grass and the rock right there and if the your paintbrush is in the way just go back into place mode and that way you can uh, see it better all right, one last thing we're going to do here is that, um, is that look how shiny this texture is. Oh, my goodness. That's really shiny. Let's get rid of some of the shine. So I'm going to go back into here. Roughness. Let's take a constant, drag it out, put it in roughness right there. It's currently 0% rough. Let's give it like 0.9 roughness. Save it. And then, uh, and then when we go back into here, that shine that you saw before, look at that, the shine is now gone off of there because I made roughness on it. So, because rocks aren't really shiny unless they're wet or you've polished them somehow. And so, now one other question um, probably is that what if I wanted a normal map for this? You would do the exact same thing. So, I'm going to put these a little bit closer together here. And uh, if I wanted to make normals for these, there's my normal slot, right? There's my normal slot. 
So all I would really do is I would go back into content, starter content, um, textures, and you could find, you could find, like if I typed in uh, grass, oops, grass again, there's my normal map for it. So I would just do the same things. I'll just hold the T key and click, brings that up, and uh, same thing if I do rock, and uh, what did I choose? This one, that's a T-Rock Basalt. So here's the normal map for it. Click here in uh, T for texture. So I'm still just putting normal map textures in here. Did I do it? T, click. There it goes. All right, so that's the rock. And then I have to do the same thing. So, and again, I would just take these pieces, Control C, Control V drag those down here. Now one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to create new landscape layer chords for those because they probably need to be the same right as the ones up there. So those need to be the same but this will still get connected here. This will get connected here and I didn't do a third one but eventually that would go up here in my normal slot. And that's how you create your texture maps for it. Uh, I guess one thing I didn't show is the um, the UV coordinates here, the landscape layer coordinates. Let's do something real quick there. First of all, let me save my material and uh, get back into here. Let's go look at, let's do a quick uh, look here and then I'll end the video. So here I am and uh, this is the size of the grass right here, which actually doesn't look too bad right there. But um, let's go back into our train material just so I can show you what the difference is. So if I take this landscape coordinate and scale it, let's scale it 10 times so you can see a big difference. Press enter to, to commit the change. Already you can see how much larger the grass texture is there. I'm going to save it. And let's go back into here. Click. Watch when you see the grass. Look how much larger the grass texture is now because I scaled it up in that landscape layer coordinate. The grass is probably too big there. If I hit play, oh, look what happened. You know why that happened? My, uh, my player start, because I raised up the terrain, so my player start actually, um, got to get up there. My player start is actually below my terrain layer. So, and if you're thinking, well, how do I find that even? Well, there it is, but I can find it over here. Player start and then just make sure you drag it above the terrain right there. Now let's hit play again. There we go. And uh, now I can drive around on this thing. So, all right, so anyway, that's kind of, uh, I'm using WASD to uh, control it. See if I can get up there. My path all the way up. Like so much. Down the other side. All right, so my little path worked. All right, that worked good. My train mat. Now you know how to change the coordinates, and everything looks good. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, that's how it looks right there. Whoops, let's pull all this up so you can see a little bit better. All right, thank you very much. Bye.